friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india today i am going to use leo feco machine of upper sami associates in a routine case this is a cataract with grade 3 nuclear sclerosis after the initial steps capsulorexis is being done with the help of uh, utrata forceps at this moment continuous cavilinear capsulorexis is completed and now hydro dissection is to be done BSS is passed just underneath the anterior capsular rim and the fluid wave goes to the opposite equator now the nucleus is rotated now 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is injected into the anterior chamber and now is the time to introduce the FECO needle. This is a 15 degree tip and I am going to do direct job. Vacuum used is 340 millimeter of mercury flow rate is 37 ml per minute and power in this case is 55 ultrasonic energy 55 percent here it goes I go into the substance of the nucleus and chop it like this again go through the substance and chop at another place now this free nuclear fragment is emulsified and removed the nucleus is rotated and the initial along the initial crack this piece is separated from the other heminucleus and it is emulsified and removed and this is the other heminucleus it is chopped into two pieces and now each nuclear fragment is emulsified with ultrasonic energy in this machine there is longitudinal movement as well as transverse movement of the FECO needle so it is a combination of longitudinal and torsional FECO so the nucleus is missed now I made only one side port so here is another side port to use the bimanual irrigation aspiration irrigation is from the right side and aspiration from the left I am using 250 vacuum and 30 fluoride for IA for irrigation and aspiration this is a fantastic machine and according to many surgeons the holding capability of this machine is better much better than Alcon Alcon's Centurion it's not my opinion it is opinion of many surgeons who have already used this machine Alcon's machine cuts better but holding capability of Alcon's machine is okay but this machine has fantastic holding capability of the nuclear mass with adequate vacuum and fluoride so the intraocular lens has been implanted keeping the antechamber formed by BSS we can call it hydro implantation of intraocular lens this is a monofocal hydrophilic acrylic intraocular lens 
the sideboard on the left and right both the sideboards are closed by corneal stromal hydration and now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber PSS is taken in a 10 cc syringe and the and the BSS is irrigated through the aspirating port and there is already irrigation through another side another passes now the anti chamber is nicely formed and the case is concluded thank you very much for attention hope this video will inspire you to try leo fecomation of apasami associates